Hi, I'm John Stanker with your WICR Sports Flash. The wildcard race in the National League seems to all be wrapped up, but that's not the case in the American League. Heading into Monday night, the Rays and Rangers were atop the wildcard standings, and they faced off trying to secure their place in the playoffs. The Rays were able to get the 6-2 victory in the first of a four-game series, due in large part to Will Myers and his three RBIs. Play by play was courtesy of Tampa Bay Radio WDAE. The Texas Rangers have now lost seven straight games. And with the Rangers' loss, the Cleveland Indians had the opportunity to move into the wild card spot if they beat the Kansas City Royals. However, the Indians couldn't capitalize on the opportunity. James Shields shut down the Indians with six innings of one run ball, mustering up 10 strikeouts in the process. As the Major League Baseball season is coming to an end, the NFL is just getting started. Week 2 of the NFL season came to a close Monday night with the Cincinnati Bengals hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. The game was tied at 10 heading into halftime, but it was all Bengals in the second half. The Steelers offense struggled immensely once again, mustering up less than 300 yards of offense. The Bengals got the win 20-10, and here's ESPN's John Gruden on the Pittsburgh struggles. They desperately need Heath Miller back. You saw David Paulson tonight. Had a big fumble in the Bengal red zone. They don't have a man on their team that does what Heath Miller does. They don't have a feature back. They've tried four different men in two games. They're saying Le'Veon Bell will be the back, so be it. But they still have to block much better. The offense needs an identity quick because I don't know what it is. With the win, the Bengals improved to 1-1 one and, one and got some momentum that they can carry into week three when they host the Green Bay Packers. Quarterback Andy Dolan on the win against Pittsburgh. We did what we needed to win this game, and uh, it's great to see that uh, all-around team victory and uh, exactly what we wanted to happen, uh, playing a great opponent, and uh, no better we do it on Monday night. In Iona news, the women's soccer team fell to Navy 3 to nothing on Sunday. The men's soccer team saw their two-game winning streak snapped Saturday when they lost 2-1 at Columbia. Both teams are back in action this upcoming Saturday. The men's soccer program travels to Hartwick, and the women's team stays home and looks to pick up their second win of the season against conference rival Canisius. For more information on Iona Athletics, tune to icgales.com. I'm Jonathan Stanko.